Well, hello then, I do hope you're all well. I was this the best brilliant takedown of the day on an absolute chaotic government? Now that takedown came from Shadow Home Secretary Yvette Cooper after Conservative MP for Bassett Law, Brendan Clark Smith, came to the House of Commons to answer an urgent question on the Secretary of State for the Home Department. If he would make a statement on the departure of the previous Home Secretary. Well, the new Home Secretary was absent, but that didn't stop how uh, Yvette Cooper did it. Yvette Cooper. Yeah. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I notice there's no Home Secretary this morning, unless the member for Bassett Law has been appointed Home Secretary in the last few hours, which, to be honest, nothing would surprise yeah. us yeah. at the moment, because this is total chaos. We've got the third Home Secretary in seven weeks. The Cabinet was only appointed six weeks ago. The Home Secretary has been sacked, the Chancellor sacked, the Chief Whip sacked and then unsacked, and the unedifying scenes of Conservative MPs last night fighting like rats in a sack. This is a disgrace. The former Home Secretary has circulated a letter, and that seems to contradict what the Minister just said, because she said it was a draft of a written ministerial statement that was due to be published imminently and had already been briefed to MPs. Is that not true? Can he explain the answer to that? And can he tell us also what time the Home Secretary informed the Cabinet Secretary of the breach, and whether a cheque has been made of whether she sent other documents through personal emails putting security at risk. Was there a 90-minute row about policy between the Prime Minister and the former Home Secretary? And given the huge disagreements we have seen over the last few weeks between the Home Secretary and the Prime Minister on drugs policy, on Rwanda, on the India trade deal, on seasonal agriculture, on small boats, and a bit of tofu thrown in over the lettuce for good measure, is there anything that the policy is actually agreed on in the Cabinet on Home Affairs? What we know is that the former Home Secretary has just been running her ongoing leadership campaign, whilst the current Home Secretary is too busy to come to the House because he's doing his spreadsheets on the numbers for whoever he is backing to come next. But who is taking decisions on our national security? Not the Prime Minister, not the past or current Home Secretaries. Borders, security, policing are too important for this kind of instability, just as people's livelihoods are too important for the economic instability that this Conservative Party has created. It is not fair on people, and to quote the former Home Secretary, this is indeed a total coalition of chaos. Why should the country have to put up with this for a single extra day? Bravo. Well done. Totally agree with everything you said. Absolutely brilliant. And as I'm speaking to you, I'm hearing on the grapevine, rumour has it, so has our Prime Minister. I'm here and she's having an unofficial visit from Sir Graham Brady, and apparently so has Theresa Coffer. They both unofficially entered her from the back door. No, that didn't sound right. They both entered the back door of Downing Street, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Right, anyway, never a dull moment here, is it? Right, I shall leave the video here until the next time. I'll keep you posted.